Hi all, welcome to my channel. I'm Mark, this is Mark's Mods and today guys we're going to be doing our U96 build. So we are going to do issue 23 of build the U96. Now, wow what a pack so far. Um, we have got quite a bit to do again today. Loads of detail for the interior. So yeah, lots of gluing, lots of sprues. I've already taken bits of the sprues and organised them but um, wow. All I can say is the level of detail and the amount you have to do in this build is amazing. It really is. Um, I'm really impressed with it. So, let's get started today. So, with all that said, let's get modelling. Okay, so guys, this is the radio room and listening room. So, got a lot to do even forgot to bring out the compartment so that's what we um finished with in the last uh, issue and we're going to be putting more detail onto this today so the first pieces we need is these pieces here and we need these and we're going to be making basically a couple of stools so yeah this is what i mean by the level of detail so what we need to do is i'm just going to dip the ends in some glue and put them into there okay then if we bring our floor across we're going to be putting these into place just onto here and onto here so let's do that. I'm probably going to need my pin vice just to apply a bit of glue in there. There. And there. Just like that. Okay. One there, one there, and one there. And again, just get our little stools and put them in place. Okay, so leaving them to dry, um, we need to make up some two tabletops. So we need these bits here. And these bits here and we need to fit these these are going to basically fit on top of these and I'm just going to test the fit on them I'm going to need a, a bit of glue so we'll glue these on one desk done and then we've got this one here to do It's a little bit warped, so I'm just going to have to hold that down a second while the glue takes hold. It's probably just where it's uh, come out the plastic moulding. Yeah, it's not sticking down on that side. Um, let's try and add a bit of glue just on the end there. Hopefully that will help. So I'll just hold that to my fingers for two secs. It's still, it's still lifting. Maybe I put a clamp on this one. Just one of the uh, glue setting. 
Okay, so I'll just put that to one side. Um, because we can fit this first one. So, this one, I believe, if I've got one with a short tab, one with a long tab. So, this one is actually going to go in to there, just like that. But we do need to put some glue on the tabs. Just like that and i'll check this one now yep that's glued this is just going to go on this side and again just need to put some glue on the tabs okay get this one in Okay, so that's nicely fitted into there. Right, so next we've got some doors to make <laughs> for all things. So if I bring these this bit over, now I've got these doors aligned right, just in the instructions that there's a bit that sticks out just on there, and then above a diamond, that needs to be facing that way. So these will go in properly. So, um, it says place the door frame on your work surface, orientated as shown, uh, push fit the radium room door into the left hinge on the door picture as framed. So, turn it round this way, ah, yes, so we've got some, like, in catchers, hinges. So it needs to be fitted in okay and then do the same on the other side there we go they are fitted in brilliantly okay moving that aside we've got a this piece here um, which is basically just like a dividing wall and the first thing it wants us to do is it wants us to put off the sprue part M on, which is this one here. And it wants to be going this way around. Oh, without me flinging it off the desk. Okay, but that does need gluing on. Oh dear, I didn't really... That was a, that was a bit of a moment. does happen oh jittery hands then doesn't happen now okay and we put this on okay then it wants um part number E, which is this bit here, that's going to be going down onto the two pegs just down there. It's got like a circular thing on this, and that needs to be facing that way. Okay, that's in place. Next, it wants uh, bits A and bit B, which are these here. And A is just going to go on there. Okay. 
So I'm just putting some glue on the inside of this. I think I'm going to have to get some more glue out. Okay. And then B is just going to go in between. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this bit dry before we move on to the next bits. And also I need to get some more glue out because uh, I'm running low. Oh, it's popped into there just like that. Right, I'm gonna let them bit dry and then we'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay, so they have dried. Now the reason I wanted them to dry is because basically we're flipping this over and we're gonna be working on this side. So it was better that um, everything was uh, dry. So the next pack we need is F. And that's just gonna be going on to two pegs just there. I have got some more glue out ready. So, might be better just to put it into the holes on this one. Okay, that's in place. Next we need L and K, which are these two bits here. So K is just going to go on to there. Again, I think I'm just better putting some glue on the inside of this. It's just going to fit onto there. And then this bit here is just going to go next to it. <laughs> this actually has two tabs. So I'm going to put some glue on the divider there. And place that into position. Okay, next what we need to do is we need G and D. Now G, this is just going to cover there, it's just going to fit onto there. So just running some glue on the edge, get the cover and place that on. Just like so and then this is going to actually go into like a slit just in there and that is going to sit in there so wow just a bit of glue in there and somehow fit it in in a very tight space but it does go in just like that okay move that to one side because we have another divider to put in and this time we need n and we need i and these are going to go on to here so this one first is going to go on to there Just like that and then i is just going to sit next to it mm. 
Okay, that's in place. Okay, so next what we need to do is if we bring this across that we worked on, which was the doors, flip it over like so. We're going to put this bulkhead, if I can pick it up, onto there. I don't think I've got it the right way around, so it's going to go on to there and sort of slot into the two holes. This is just a test of it. <clears throat> yeah, it does fit in. Eventually. Okay. So now I know that goes in, I'll put some glue on the pegs. It's a tight fit, but it does go in. Okay, so with that in place, the next one we need is this one here. This is going to go into our middle one, like that. Okay. Fantastic. Now I'm going to have to let that dry because we're next going to be fitting it into our room. So let, I'm going to let that dry and then we'll come back and we'll fit it into our room. So back soon. A few moments later. Okay, so this has had time to dry now. And what we need to do is we need to put it on. So I'm just going to get some more glue out. I seem to be using a lot of glue today. Just want a bit. Okay, so we're going to be fitting it just into there. So I'm going to put some glue on the tabs. said this model is it really is detailed <laughs> okay so let's fit this in just line up it up And try get the tabs in run at the back. There we go. That is in. As you can see, we've got the two rooms there now. Okay, so just a couple of bits now we need to finish off. So next we need is J and H. This is H. This is J. And we need to put this into here. So let's get some glue. Run it on the inside. A 
on that in place. Okay, so that's got into place. I'm going to be putting it on this next. It's just going to be going into that cap just down there. Okay, so that's in place. Um, the last thing we need, well, one of the last things we need is detail C, and that's just going to go into just into there. And I'm just going to dip this tab in the glue. Just like so. Okay, so we can move that to one side while that dries um, because we've got a couple of last things to do um, we're going to be making some benches so we need these two pieces here and then these two pieces here and we're going to put in these are like a T and they're just going to be going in to the slots just in there but again we do need to uh, use some glue so i'm just going to dip that tab end in the glue put it into place so i want it flat okay do the same on the other Just gonna hold that one because it's just not I want it to be as straight as possible. Okay, they're done. Right, so finally, and we are near nearly finally, uh, we're gonna be putting these into place. So bring up bring back across. We've got two bits at the bottom just down there that these will be going into. So I'm just gonna dip the ends in the glue i'm going to be careful because i've obviously just glued these as well so i don't want them to break so just try and um, line them up best i can okay they are in place fantastic and that is it that's all we have to do in this stage so wow that was a lot to do really really heavily detailed this but that looks amazing really does bring it to the, oh, to the camera a little bit that is what we have created fantastic and that is it for this issue so that is issue 23 complete well guys that's it for the u96 for issue 23 really detailed lots to do really amazing i love it when we do get a lot to do in these part works because sometimes you just get a label on a cable and they cannot be the best of issues but this pack so far pack six is turning out to be quite a hefty one to do so yeah happy days on this one and i can't wait to do more anyway if you like this video please could you give it a massive thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos but as for always stay safe and bye for now